What do we have here? We only have a Copa America quarterfinal with Venezuela and Canada. What's all that about? We're going to get into it next. That's right, folks. Back once again with another preview video. Today, we're looking forward to quarterfinal at Copa America between Venezuela and Canada. Did I say that right? I said that bloody right. Would you Adam and Eve it? Uh, Venezuela, top of the group in Group B. Canada squeaking through Group A. That's right. These two locking horns for a space in this year's semi-finals. We'll get into all of that and more in a second. If you know where you've been, smash your subscribe button. You want stop shop for Copa America. It's right here. Under one Ruski, can Venezuela go all the way? Well, it's going to be very difficult for any of these two nations going all the way because they are on the Argentine side of the bracket who do look phenomenal at the moment. But anyway, forget about that. It's all about this right now. So let's get into it. Uh, big, big shout out to the VIPs. They are the patrons. You know who you are. And again, if you're new, smash that subscribe. So here are we go. Preview in the match. It is Venezuela. It is Canada. And it's coming at you this coming 5th of July. That's right. Uh, Venezuela. Been in 19 times in the past. They have never bettered a fourth place finish. And they're so close to matching that. Win this and they've matched that. Uh, and that will, of course, be able to update those records. Uh, they are managed by Fernando Bastilla, or Basista, Batista, sorry, pronounce, trying to pronounce it right. Starman, Yangel Herrera. They were in Group B where they had odds 11 and 2 to win it, 13 and 8 to qualify to win the whole thing. 66 to 1. Those odds are now down to 25 to 1. Uh, my expectation was a group stage exit. I'm going to hold my hands up. You know, don't shoot the messenger. I, I did not expect this from Venezuela. And they're currently ranked 54th in the world, according to the FIFA rankings. This has been their resume. It has actually been stellar. A perfect record. Nearly, nearly perfect record. Just the one goal conceded uh, in, a, in a fantastic display in Group B. A surprising, refreshing display uh, to put Venezuela back on the football map. Who'd have thunk it? I didn't think it. Uh, they, did they did pick up a 2-1 win over Ecuador. I, I thought. I thought that was more mere a fluke. A fluke because of the one-man advantage. But no, they stepped it up again against Mexico. 1-0 win there. And then they just turned on the juice against Jamaica with a 3-0 demolition job to not only top the group, but did it in some convincing style. Five points clear of the next best thing, which was Ecuador, who, of course, they turned over nice and easy. These are the players that have done it. Uh, and as you can see, they are led by Thomas Rincon, the likes of Jefferson Safarino, Jefferson Soteldo, uh, and of course, Solomon Rondon uh, up top. What about the 11 then? Well, we're going to go with the 11 right here right now. And it looks a little bit like this. We're going to go Rafael Romo, uh, John Ambaramaru, Wickel Angel, Yondon Osorio, Alexander G Gonzalez, Yangel Herrera, Jose Martinez, Darwin Matches, Talasco Segovia, and Edward Bilo, and Jose Rondon. Jose Salomon Rondo. Get it right, Dirk. Get it bloody right. But what about their opposition? Well, surprisingly and refreshing enough, it is Canada, that's right. They are one of the CONCACAF nations that will be, if not if not probably the only one. There will be another one. There will be another one, whether it's Panama, whether it's USA. One of those will also join Canada in the last eight. But goodness, it's their debut. Well, it's not their debut. They've been here, they've been here one time in the past. Uh, well, no, this is actually their debuts. Tell a lie, tell a lie. Jesse Marsh. Now, I'm going to go back to big picture here. I went on a bit of a rant for the USA video. This He should have been your coach. He should have been your coach. What a fantastic pickup it was for Canada, getting this guy right. And, and now this is just what they want. You know, this is the experience, the tournament experience Canada need to prepare for 2026. USA, doing absolute dog shit and going to be in a bit of a scramble. But, but Canada here, the Maple Leafs, star man is, of course, Alfonso Davies, one of the best players in the world. Uh, don't don't forget that. Group A, of course, they were uh, were in 12 to 1 to win the group, 5 to 2 to qualify, 66 to 1 to win the whole thing. Now, my odds now have dropped to 40 to 1. My expectation was a group stage exit. Again, just like Venezuela, did not anticipate this. Whatsoever, They are currently ranked 49th in the world, according to the FIFA rankings. This will do them the world of good in, in regards to those football rankings. These are This is the resume so far. They did lose opening day to Argentina 2-0. Uh, and they followed that up with a 1-0 win over Peru and a 0-0 draw against Chile. Uh, they've just got the one goal. You know, it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, and they've, they've only conceded the two goals against Argentina since then. Back-to-back -back clean sheets. They have been handed a couple of little, little boosters with, with red cards. One against Peru, one against Chile. So, you know, does that fair, bear in, uh, you know, consideration in the grand scheme of things? 
Um, but ultimately, that opening game against Argentina, I thought it was going to be a landslide, 5 0, something like that. But no, credit to our Canada to keeping them just a 2 0. But look at them, Dave. They've only scored the one goal in four games, including that preparation game against France. So that is a worry. Um, but uh, Venezuela, if you'd said you would take on Venezuela in the quarterfinals uh, in this year's Copa America, Canada would have bitten your hand off. And the same vice versa for Venezuela. They would have taken it, that uh, offered. So they did come through this uh, difficult group. I didn't see it. I thought Chile would raise their game. I even thought Peru would raise their game. Uh, and I, actually, I thought Canada would be rock bottom of this group. But these are the players that have gotten to this point. As you can see, uh, the likes of Kripo at the back there. We've got Cornelius, Alfonso Davis, Kone, Osario, Junior Hoylet, legend, of course. Theo Bear, linked with Rovers, Tajon Buchanan, uh, Liam Miller, Jonathan David. They're all in there. But uh, how do we make a team then for this one? Well, this is the team I've got. The 11 got Kripo between the sticks. We've got Davis, Cornelius, Moses, Pompito, Alistair Johnson. We've got Jonathan Osario, Stefan Esquadrado, <coughs> Richie La Laddy, and Jonathan David. Jacob Shuffleberg and Sion Larkin. That's right. That's the 11 that I'm thinking because it's going to be a bit of a defensive display because who to be in this stage and to blow it is not the way to do it, guys. They have played in Venezuela twice since 2007 and both sides have be have not beaten each other. But they'll take place at the AT&T Stadium with, of course, Argentinian Fernando Bastista uh, in the dugout for Venezuela with American Jesse Marsh in the dugout. He's probably the only American going to be at this tournament at this stage unless the USA do something unthinkable against Uruguay later on tonight. That's right. Venezuela, though, three wins on the bounce, 58% form for them. Right now, the Canadians are on 50% form, won two, lost two, and drawn two over the last six. The last match these two sides did play was way back in May 2010. It looked like it was in Venezuela, and it was a 1-1 one, one draw. So back-to-back -back draws between these two sides. Well, the, the bookies are out there, and uh, tell me what you see about this then. 13-8 is your Venezuela, 19-10 is your Canada, 2-1 to one is the draw. Quite tight between the bookies, but I'm thinking they are leaning towards Venezuela on this one. Well, here is your thoughts. The public vote, of course, is looking like this. Wow, wow, wee, wow. What do you take from that? Well, it's all food for thought. We've got the bookies. We've got the public vote. What about me? Well, of course, I'd lo I love the fact that Canada are here and the quarterfinals. Um, but, and that was just something I didn't anticipate. Uh, it, it's all good experience for them. They were at the World Cup in Qatar. Now, they're, of course, they're here in the Copa America. Next year, I think they might even have a Gold Cup to prepare. And then, of course, it'll be a World Cup the following year, which they've already qualified as of host. Venezuela, though, got a lot of work to do to, to see them qualify for the World Cup, but it ain't out of the woods just yet. So, uh, but I've been, I have been absolutely floored by Venezuela. I think they've been phenomenal. Uh, they've, 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 they've picked up th three big wins in their group. They blew a lot of teams out of the water in a group where I thought they were going to be bottom. So as for Canada, I think they might have been a little bit fortunate with the red cards in their games and just maybe some just poor organization from the teams of Peru and Chile. They're just in a bit of a shambles right now. Of course, we all expected the loss against Argentina. It's, it will be tight. I think there will be a goal between the two sides, but ultimately I'm going to have to back as much as I'd love to see the Canadians get to the semi-final, and that would be absolute madness. But I'm going to go with the Venezuela victory here. 2-1 win. I just think they've been too good for... I'd not expected that. did not expect that uh, performance for them this in this tournament. But 2-1 win. Credit to them. And uh, they will, of course, uh, meet uh, possibly the winner of the Argentina-Ecuador uh, match. Will it be a re-encounter re, re, uh, of the Group B match between Venezuela and Ecuador? Or could it even be a re-encounter between Argentina and Canada? Goodness gracious me, it's all on the, on the table. But that's it. Smash the subscribe, smash the like. We preview these, each and every one of them. And of course, we'll be back for the semifinals whenever they come around. But until then, we're done.